Welcome to a video from TheDishLifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to look at new build of Windows 11. This is 25267 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. This is available as an ISO as well as through Windows Update. So if you want to test things, you can uh, directly um, get a clean build. You can use it on Hyper-V like I'm using here, or you can upgrade an existing machine or start from scratch or whatever you want to do. So actually, there's not a huge amount in this build, but one thing that Microsoft have uh, said in the release notes is that they're experimenting with the search box. So you may see a couple of different versions of the search box. So you may have a little small magnifying glass that you see. I've got this rounded one here that says search. You might see a slightly bigger one that says search and it's got an image in it. And that's Microsoft to just... Um, experimenting really with this and uh, I'm guessing they'll find, get the feedback and then they'll finalize on which one um, which one they're going to go ahead with so there you go that's what you can see in this build and that's the main actual visual change the other issue other things with this build they fixed an issue with um, some insiders having issue with casting so that's if you do the Windows K uh, that's where you can cast your machine to another machine. In fact, I've got a video on how to do this if you're interested. Uh, so you can you can send the content this screen to another one. I can't do this on um, on Hyper-V image, but I can do it on my main machine. So here are the rest of the fixes. They fixed the issue with Bluetooth in quick, in quick settings crashing. They fixed some quick setting icons when using screen reader issues, when you've got some screen reader, or when you're using screen reader, there's some issues with that. And um, they fixed an issue where um, Explorer XC was crashing Task Manager uh, or running high um, CPU as well. They fixed some issues with search, um, where the search box was kind of floating if you were having one of these experimental uh, searches. Um, I've not seen any issues with that, and they fixed some input issues. So there's still some known issues with this build. That one thing to watch out if you've got an ARM64 device like one of the new Surface Pros, uh, you may get a black screen when you're resuming from sleep or hibernate. Uh, you press the power button a few times and that should wake it up. Um, and there's an issue with Windows Hello as well, uh, with facial recognition. So there's an issue with that. And there's a couple of issues with tablet optimized taskbar. That's that taskbar that collapses automatically when you're out on tablet. I've got I've got use of, I do really like that use that on my Surface uh, Go which is getting a bit old now but it still works quite well and uh, that gives you a bit more screen mistake because this uh, collapses. So those are the main issues. There's some issues with live captions as well and I think they're going to get um, in fact live captions isn't working at all. They're going to get that fixed in the um, in a build in the new year. So that's 25267. Not much more I can show you. I'd like to show you all the changes. This is the last build as well uh, of this year. So the builds will be back in January 2023. And so I with the build videos. In the meantime, check out uh, my YouTube channel because you can see a lot more stuff. I've got loads of different content on there. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.